Hey guys, it's Dakota Lewis. Today is June 1st, 2015, and I am uh, a year and I'll be three months on the 4th. Today I'm actually going to make a vlog. It's been a while since I've really felt the need to talk about anything. Um, but I'm going to answer a question that a, I basically get from anyone who pays attention to anything in the media. What do I think about Bruce Jenner? First, now that all we, we've seen the interviews, we've had the Vanity Fair cover, I do not know anything about Bruce Jenner anymore because all I'm going to talk about is Caitlyn Jenner. First and foremost, I will only be respecting her pronouns and using her chosen name. So, if you have any problems with that, please keep repeating that until you get that, and then you can keep watching the rest of the video. Thank you. I respect Caitlyn and all that she's doing, um, and in no way is this sort of what I'm going to say a reflection of her character, just talking about the circumstances in which it happened, and I, um, I don't feel that you know she should have had to do anything differently. I respect her in her own way as a person. We know that Caitlyn Jenner has been feeling these these things. Um, I, I don't know what experiences she's has had um, discovering herself, and I doubt that her experiences with dysphoria and stuff like that are any similar to mine because we're all different. Um, but she's she's known about her identity for years, you know. Um, when you, when you look at interviews, uh, her, her loved ones have known for 20 plus years. She's known for, so I can't imagine. That's I give her my utmost respect because I can't imagine n feeling the feelings I did for such a short amount of, you know, a couple of years for 30, 40 years. But with that being said, I am not comfortable with Caitlyn Jenner being the face of my movement. Um... I've, I've heard it a lot. Uh, I was watching the Eden Dowling interview on Ellen, and I've been reading other, other articles and stuff, and people like to say that Bruce Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner are, uh, is a pioneer of the transgender movement, and, and she's not. I mean, she's still, we're all in the early stages there still, but she's not a pioneer. She's not, she's not who should be in the history books. Uh, um, but she didn't have the courage to come out um, and I understandably so. It's hard. It takes so much bravery to come out at all. Um, but as, as a public figure back in the 1970s, um, Bruce won uh, his decathlon medal in 1976. And in 1976, had Bruce come out as Caitlyn, um, she would have been a pioneer of our movement. Um, but the fact stands that she only came out recently because the stage was set for her. You know, nowadays, it, I can... I am 19 years old, and I know what trans is. I The education is out there. The awareness is out there. The understanding, we're finally... We, it really is the transgender tipping point, and now that people talk about us as humans, as people, you know, we're, we're making people see us as people. Um... And that's thanks to the work of people like Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson, Miss Major. You know, when you want to talk, those are my icons. And then we have people today like Laverne Cox and Janet Mock and Aiden Dowling and, you know, they're, you know, Chaz Bono. We, we had the same debacle, what, like five years ago with Chaz? Um, and even then people, he was the, the face of our movement and it's, we have histories that go back beyond our modern systems. It, we're so limited by the way we see the world. Just because you don't know the history of my people, of our people, of people, it doesn't mean it didn't exist. And history can be written over, and it has in many ways. Um, and so those are the people I, I thank. Those are the people that are the pioneers of my movement, you know, those are the people that have given me all the opportunities to be where I am. I'm so privileged to even have the possibility of transitioning, of have people, having people respect me. You know, a hundred years ago, you, uh, if you were some trans transgender wasn't a word a hundred years ago. 
things are so different. I'm so lucky to be where I am at. And I think people, and I do think, you know, Caitlyn Jenner, and I do think everyone who has the, the strength and the bravery to come out, the world needs to know we exist. And each and every one of us that comes out is another visible entity that, that proves it. Um, and we all need to talk about our stories because there is no single trans experience. There is a trans experience that we all have with our, within ourselves. I have my trans experience. And I know the experiences of my brothers and sisters and all in, in between because there is more than just trans men and trans women. And it's, it, ex it exists on a spectrum in which there are genderqueer identities and agender identities and we just need to be more aware and asking me about what I think about Bruce Jenner will not make us any more aware. Please, if you want me to teach you, I will teach you about gender. I will, I will show you my views and I will help you think to have your own opinions. But don't, don't ask me to teach you using your questions. Your questions are at the surface of the very core truth I'm trying to teach. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I know this one was a little bit more of a uh, deep and meaningful video, but I appreciate you watching. I hope it helped you um, think a little bit and come to terms with some different thoughts. Um, but yeah, I hope to be making more videos uh, this June because I'm doing a ton of fun stuff. I'm going to Philadelphia for the Philly Trans Health Conference um, in like two days. Um, and then I'm going on a cruise, so hopefully I have some cool content for you guys coming up.